Welcome, welcome, welcome to Chess with TV episode 415. I'm your host, Louise. This is going to be so fun. We're going to play another a weird, weird variant. In this variant, there's a line through the chessboard, two of them actually, where you can't attack if you're there. So basically, you don't want to go there because your piece can't capture anything once it's there. But you can go there. It's not like completely off limits. You just can't do much while you're there. So let's, let me show you which lines those are. Let's go to leechess.org here. This website is lichess.org. And I'll play rated standard, throw this in the chat so we can have a challenger. And then I'll also bring up my game, notepad.exe, where you can type anything except might not support UTF-8. And then let's so go like this. Um, you may not capture, you can't see what I'm typing. Maybe I should turn on the, the notepad view. Let's see if I can find that. Notepad view, notepad view. Nope, can't turn it on. <coughs> so I won't. I could, but I don't want to go through the hassle. So um, I better put the rules in the chat before we begin. Anything using a piece that is on the third or sixth rank. Those are the no-fly zones, at least for right now. And by no-fly, I mean you can land, but you can't take off, if that makes any sense. Uh, let's see how this goes. So this was suggested to me by a viewer, so I actually have never tried this variant. I find it to be really fascinating, though, because... I know about, so I'm going to play, um, so I'm going to play here because I want to be able to capture. I know about uh, variants where you can't move certain places. In fact, we played a kind of hole chest where you couldn't move to these spots because they had holes. But the entire third rank we've never restricted before. But this is an interesting twist. You can move there, but you have to move through, you know, like this perhaps. So this should be interesting for sure. Interesting for sure. So far, we've got kind of a balanced center. I will, oh, that doesn't attack him. So I'm going to go with a fianchetto like this. And it also, as a side benefit, also attacks the queen here. I'm going to block any check this way, and I think we'll be just fine. <laughs> oh, that's not a check, so I didn't consider it. But idiot chess whiz has now given himself a problem, such as missing a knight. No problem, though, because this opponent, he's human. And humans make mistakes. For example, that mistake, because his knight can't take me. It's in the no-fly zone. Is this concerning? I cannot defend this way, because that's an uncapturable zone area. So let's defend with the king. There's no queens on the board. In chess, after the queens come off, you can feel a lot more bold about leaving your king in the center like this. And then uh, beforehand, not so much, because of checkmate, which is not a lot of fun getting checkmated. Let's see. A lot of attackers here. Oh, this could be problematic. What's going on in the chat right now? It's distracting myself. It says, how's Pandemic Legacy? Great question. Okay, now let's look back here. Uh, pause. Okay, now let's look at the chat. I don't know how to solve this problem. I can't play this. I don't want to play this. And the other move, this. Also kind of sad and pathetic. Hmm. I have to do one of these, though. One of these three moves here. Maybe I should pick randomly. Some people live like that. And then they blame fate or God if they made it a bad decision. They'll actually say, you know what? I don't know what the best choice is here. Oh, man, this is rough. Uh, let's let's check him. I mean, this looks like a pretty obnoxious check. So let's check him. <coughs> See how he defends that. Good, good. The pressure's off. If he played here, I would have been in such a bind. I would have checked him here next, and then he played the bishop, and I would be in such a bind. But this is much more tolerable, because now I don't have as many problems. I have fewer problems, and that's all. Okay, my king cannot capture from this location. Is that a problem? Yes! Ah, oh, this stupid variant! He could have just taken my bishop, because I can't capture from that location. Lucky for me, he didn't see that one. So we're doing okay. Okay. Maybe I'll checkmate him with my king. This is starting to look good. Uh, I technically shouldn't have to move out of check here because this is in the third or sixth rank. Same here. In fact, he might just checkmate me with cheats. Nope, you can't do that. Nothing but net two. That's a cap from the bad zone. Why am I running out of time? Whew. What just happened? Checkmate. Stupid variant chess whiz thing. I should be able to move here. And this can't capture me. So that's that's an unfortunate circumstance. I didn't really anticipate the fact that checks would be arriving from pieces on the third and sixth ranks. But what can you do? You certainly can't, like, write your own client that doesn't enforce checks because that would be work. Why would you do work? Totally, totally stupid idea. Let's see. 
settings, output, video bitrate. Okay. He's not taking the rematch. Oh, he takes the rematch. Cool. Cool story. Okay, same rules. This time I'm going to play better, notably by not losing the knight on move six or so. That's going to help me a lot. Let's put these things here. We just know the knights shouldn't go here. Everything else is fine. Everything else is fine. How are you guys doing today? We've got a lot of live viewers. Hi, guys. How are you? Let's find out. The purpose of this show is not to do stupid things and then go back to our lives. We should actually have something we get from it. If you're watching this out of habit, like, well, there's a new episode on Chesapeake TV. I have to watch it. Oh, another 45 minutes of my life staring at a screen. You, sh you should be getting something out of it. You should be becoming more intelligent or you should be um, feeling better about yourself. That's a big one, right? Because you're comparing yourself to me. And you're like, wow, I'm not him. This is great. Uh, or something like that, you know. This guy's kind of pretentious. He's like, I know the rules. Well, fine. Okay, is this dangerous? I get to do the same thing to him. Mm. Shocking. Should I trade queens? I'm inclined to not trade queens. Here's why. My brain suggests a different move. Let's be honest. That's why. Um, there is no center pawns. I'm sure you needed me to tell you that. Which means it is a pretty open position. Open positions tend to be fast moving and tactical. Is he really going to take my pawn here? <laughs> what a lame move. His knight can't capture from there, but it could move from there. I'm going to let him take it. Because the position is so open. I'm using the rule of thumb that says thumbs. It's kind of a dumb rule. Should I move my knight here because of the rule of thumb? Okay, now I'm saving the pawn. I couldn't take the pressure anymore. For one move, I could I could leave it hanging, but two was too much for my heart. Uh, the theory is I don't have to react to that. Huh, that's kind of cool because you can't capture from that area. Ha, huh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. This guy who's like, I know. It's like, I know. I'm going to send him a, a winking face. <laughs> a winking face to you. The ultimate insult. I think uh, you need to take that back, you hackser. H-A-X-X-0-R. I think that's how you spell hackser. Yeah, and it's cut off on the screen. That's perfect. Okay. So I've developed my pieces pretty well. He's apologizing. You can't see it. Just says so. See that right there? So. It should say sorry. Oh, free queen. Much better. Oh. <laughs> owned now i feel dominant you should actually go like this like this okay I'll, I'll give him the take back because he's been cheating a lot so that means he deserves to have his blunders re reversed also i mean that's it's the new morality you should go like this it's going to cut off the screen so i'll just turn this side like this oh because it causes you to think you're a more dominant person which is very useful very useful you might notice that most of the people who are... Eh, that's not actually true. Never mind. Never mind. It's useful to be to feel dominant. Do everything you can to feel dominant. Unless you care about other people. If you care about other people, then I guess you shouldn't take any of my advice. Because that, that would be a difference we have. Most people won't admit that, but... Uh, but it's true anyway. If I move my bishop here, it cannot capture. But I'm doing it because I love this square, and I'm going to that square instead. It's a good square. He's moving out of the way anyway. He probably doesn't even realize he doesn't have to do that. Sucker! Uh, I could take this pawn. That would be pointless. I'm moving my knight also to where it can't capture. This is part of my strat. It's part of my strat is bad moves. Let's go here. I left, guess I left the bishop <laughs> doing nothing in stupid house town. Okay. So I'm going to take this and it's going to be, oh, I just discovered this. Is that a discovery or is that just like a free bishop I didn't notice? This is called a discovery in chess where you look at the board and you're like, <gasps> free stuff. That's called a discovery. You discovered that.
Mm-hmm. If you're if you're if you're wondering if that's true, it's not. It's not true. There's a different thing, also known as a discovery. Okay, so take, take. I'm not getting a free piece. I'm getting a free piece, guys. Not only did I take a bishop, but I also guarded a bishop. I'm a simultaneous bishop operator right now, and that is making me feel dominant. Oh, this is great. I think the best reason to watch Chester's TV is for the uniqueness. I read something the other day that said, unique cannot be modified. Let's do this. <laughs> His knight can't capture because there's nothing to capture and he's not allowed to capture. Should we entrap his knight now? Oh, you're getting stuck, man. You're very stuck. He only can go make himself worse and then he'll die. That's kind of funny. I'm kind of laughing. Unique cannot be modified. You cannot be slightly unique or very unique. The way this came up, of course, is someone wrote very unique on the internet, and then, of course, the internet police showed up. You cannot modify the word unique. I could take that. I'll take it. Because something's either unique or it's not. It can't be somewhat unique. Of course, I, I am ahead by a million things, so this guy should just resign. Of course, I disagreed, because most things in life are not true. Okay, he resigns. Let's take one of these challenges. We've got Alan Stillman and Always Beast. We're going to go with Stillman because this guy is a man made of quality carbon. So let's take his challenge right now. And let's also put the rules in here. I can tell it's a man because he's actually watching. And <laughs> Yeah. Not a lot of women watch this show. <laughs> uh, or, or girls. Or turtles, actually. Very few. T I've never even gotten a message from a turtle. It could be because they can't type, but I think it's because they don't watch the show. Why did I move my knight here? Let's double check that he's playing by the rules. He says, yeah. Okay. So my idea is to play my knight here, and I'll just laugh at him. Like, you can't take me. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of fun. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's his turn to laugh now. This is embarrassing. Normally, this would defend? But that won't work. Uh, my knight could move here or here to defend. My knight could move here or to d9. Uh, okay, blundering is my new plan. <laughs> okay. Blundering will work. Yeah, quality carbon right here. I mean, this guy does not use second-rate carbon to assemble his body. He doesn't use carbon at all. It just happens. I lost only a pawn. I'm such a good player. I only lost a pawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the internet police showed up and said, you can't say very unique because you're either unique or you're not unique, which reminds me of a tongue twister. What's that tongue twister? Let's figure it out right now. Um, unique New York. Yeah, that's a good one. Let me Let me blow my nose and then I'll totally say that tongue twister a whole bunch. Since I just made an illegal move right there, I've decided to, um, oh, that was a flattering pose. I've decided to not do it. Okay, let's castle instead. Let's see, fix or twinks, whatever that is. You cannot capture from the third or sixth rank. So I made an illegal move while disappearing. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. Ah, no, I was showing off. Has that ever happened to you? You're like, I'm going to totally show off, man. Right now is my showing off time. And then you fail. <laughs> I've done that so much because I'm a juggler. Like, I throw things in the air and catch them again. So I'm like, look at this cool trick. Whoops. Happens to me all the time. I can juggle five balls if you count the two that I juggle while I'm jumping up and down. So it's pretty impressive. F6. That would block my queen off. Who needs queens? Uh, I could move my knight. I could not hang my bishop. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. He's forked me. 
I should look at the chessboard for a little while and see what's going on. Bad stuff is going on. Oh, he's made things better. I'm out of time, too. Okay. Let's make some good moves to counter these bad moves. Let's go on up here. This is actually a cool seat because he can't do anything from this rank. So, oh, he's getting owned right now. Castling Queenside created some danger. Oh. Man. If I weren't one of the worst players that exist. Oh, cheating instead. I'll have to take that back. <laughs> if I weren't that. Hey, how come I'm out of time? Add me time, please. I My, my internet's slow. Ah. Oh, add time. And take back. I cheated again. Ah! I'm gonna keep moving. Take back. Okay, now we have to take all these back. Back everything. And add time! Oh! Oh, okay, he added time. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now when we take back, is it gonna undo the take backs? Because this was a, t a cheating move. Take back, please, to DXE5. So now we're going to... I wonder if it undoes the take back, the, the add times. Is this working? It does! It undoes the add times. It's like, you want to take back? Okay, let's take back you getting free time. That sounds great. Oh, what's happening now? I've just clicked on my own username. Back more. This is working. It's like 30 seconds, 4 seconds, 36 seconds, 4 seconds. You're almost out of time. Oh, you have plenty of time. Oh, you're out of time. I'm going through the going through the times here each time he adds me time. And then, okay, so now we're back to the point where I'm almost, we're back to where I've cheated almost. Okay. Here we are. Okay. I'll just play this. Thanks. <laughs> and then he plays that. And then I'll play this. So we're threatening some carnage here. And now his bishop can't capture anything. So let's put the squeeze to the queen. I can win a pawn and then I'll be down a piece. Hmm. Hmm. I, I, I don't like losing. I don't, I don't, I don't know. So, so that's bad. Especially because I'm live streaming right now. Did you guys forget? Like, what I'm doing is extremely important for my ego. Oh, that was a cool move, bro. Cool move. The coolness of that move is extremely cool. Look at that. He moves off the rank, and all of a sudden, he's forking me. Wow. I don't think I have any counter to this. Except for the granite downstairs. Yeah, I gotta resign. I didn't notice you could take that rook. So that's why I uh, lost. Good game. Good game, Alan Stillman. I'm gonna rematch you. If you want to play again, we'll try a game where I win. I think that'd be a fun outcome. Let's find out. Paste that right there. You may not capture anything. For those of you just joining us, you may not capture anything using a piece that is on the third or sixth rank so that's <clears throat> that's awful <laughs> that's awful for for uh, clearing out this rank is what we've learned because usually you clear out that rank by attacking it with a pawn which now can't capture it or something else which now can't capture it i'm not communicating the best right now but i'm actually communicating the best because i'm the only communicator to you turn off that music turn off that radio and it's me communicating so i'm number one out of one on communication That doesn't threaten his queen. That's embarrassing. Let's do this. Oh, this is kind of fun, just shoving off. Actually, I'll just get pinned and then I'll cry, but for now I feel good. Oh no! Step two, cry. I can't defend it this way. I can't defend it this way. What an idiot. But not me! I'm no idiot, I'm a genius. Okay, what a genius idiot. I can't defend it because of these excellent rules. Mm. 
I feel I feel that I've made an error. <laughs> wah, wah. Okay, so let's revive the show with some witty statements. Hold on, let me think of something supremely witty. Nope, blundering upon. Should I actually worry about this, Chaz, or should I just go for witty? Because I can't, this doesn't get offend either, it's for the third rank. This hangs this pawn. Um, so I'm just getting dominated in every direction. Mm. And I'm also running out of time because I've spent so much time crying. F4. Because for a moment, I'm threatening his queen. So if you walk up to this chessboard, you're like, oh, whose turn is it? You might think it's my turn, and then you're like, wow, that guy's pretty good. He's about to take a queen. So that's my goal here. Confuse the viewers and appear to be a better chess player than I am. This guy's this guy knows what's up though. I gotta resign. I, I'm gonna resign. Alan, you decimated me. I think you should get the gold star of decimation. Oh, we've got a challenge. And another challenge. And a challenge. I'm gonna challenge decline that one. Let's play with Always Beast. Good game. Two in a row. You dominated me. I don't want any more pains. I'm moving on to this patzer over here. Let's drink some urine. Mm. This is good. Always keep a vase around for... In case you get thirsty. Fourth rank is where it's at. Second and fourth. <laughs> okay. Gzouts in the chat. He says, Wiz is crazy! And that's obviously a compliment. Cool. <clears throat> okay. So what's going on in my life right now? I just finished Pandemic Legacy Season 1. And we won 12 times and lost once, so that was a pretty good result. And we scored in the top tier, it was like 840, 830, so pretty good, pretty good. Can I take? No, lol! <laughs> I didn't notice, but no, you can't, actually. You're in the third rank, and so you're owned by the whiz. It happens all the time, don't feel bad. People constantly get dominated, mind you. I mean, they, they sit down to the chessboard, and they realize they left their kidneys at home. Kids kidneys and they're dying so that don't feel bad about that if i push this pawn look your bishop can't capture me your knight can't capture me let's make that blue blue yeah i should push it <laughs> you're sitting down at the chessboard nothing has moved except pawns what should you do move a pawn that's already moved bingo that's the best move of course For those of you trying to improve at chess, which there could be someone out there trying to be like, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll watch this show of this crazy ranting guy and I will become a better chess player. It's not going to happen, but let's say you're deluded and you're thinking that. <laughs> okay. You should actually move different pieces every move. Like, for example, I just moved this one. So a great move would be not moving this bishop again. That's how chess works in the beginning of the game, until you've moved everything. And I'm not talking about pawns because as one viewer shockingly discovered, pawns are not pieces. They're really not. They're not pieces at all. They're called pawns. They're not pieces. In fact, they're not. So if I were to say to you, I'm down a piece for a pawn, that means a bishop or knight in exchange for a pawn, which is why you're down, right? If it was a pawn for a pawn, that's not a piece for a pawn because you got it. So Move all the pieces. Don't worry about the pawns. Now, you should move a couple of pawns just to make your stake in the center or get them out of the way so you can at least move those pieces. But why am I moving my knights to the dead zone? Let's not do that anymore. Let's put the knight over here and then here. He can't capture. I'm liking this opponent much better. Oh, that he could take that for free, though, because this can't do anything? So let's go here and then here. Okay, so I'm liking this opponent that moves pieces to places that can't capture. This is good. This is good. This opponent is much better. The way to feel good about your life is to find someone whose life is worse than yours, and then you're like, oh, my life is relatively awesome. Hmm. That's actually why I do this stream for you guys. This isn't for me. You think I'm enjoying this? Look at this frown. It's because this is a this is a terrible anguish for me. I'm doing this because you can watch this and then realize that you're an amazing chess player. 
I mean, for example, you're in a position with nothing moved and you move something instead of one of those pawns off of the corner. Amazing chess player you are. So that's why I'm doing this for you. So you can realize that. So if I take that rook, I could follow it up with a check. Wow. I could check my opponent here in just two moves. That's pretty exciting. Let's go here. <clears throat> the Gladys Troll wants to know the rules. Oh, yeah? You showed up late and you want to know the rules? Most of the people who watch this show are on YouTube, so they see it in order. But there's live viewers also. If you want to watch live, it's so much fun because the chat box is full of things like people saying, that was cheating. It's happening constantly. If I take this and he goes here, he's got nothing over here. I could move there. I'm doing it. Of course, there is like the checkmate that's that he'll do to me. Mm -mm. That's that's one downside getting checkmated. Should I worry about that? No, let's. I, I found a way to check him. I'm back on this track. Oh my bishop. Ah, I'm back to track number two. Look at that. My bishop. Could, oh no, we can't capture from the third rank. I need to move this bishop off the third rank. How about here? Okay, now I can capture. <laughs> I changed plans mid-plan, but better than sticking to a bad plan the whole game is to do half of a bad plan and then switch to another bad plan halfway in. <clears throat> the square to which I should move is here. <clears throat> yeah. That's some high-quality chess right there. Don't move that pawn. No, my king is a sucker. Oh. Oh. This is interesting, actually. This is interesting. Can, I, can my king get out this way? I can get out this way. No, he's going to check me. I'll push again. Take a lot of space. I should be able to ignore the check, of course. My king's coming out. It's worth it. Okay, let's count up the things. He has six. I have six. So I have about the same number. Maybe a few more, approximately. So this could be a, a draw. What an anticlimactic endgame. But I have a plan to win. I have a plan. I have a plan. It involves my opponent making some really stupid moves, but it is a plan. That's something. If I go here, oh, he's gonna he's gonna go like this. That's very interesting. This has got super interesting right now. It might not be a draw. Interesting because I'm defending this one because I don't have enough f pawns. I'm trying to get three, but that's pretty limiting. Okay. When I'm looking to the future, this is what chess players do. They close their eyes like, wow, I'm going to get old and then I'm die. No, that, that's too far. So he's going to move his rook here and his pawn here. And then he's going to wish his rook could not be in the way. So he'll move it somewhere. And then I'll take his pawn. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Let's make a new queen. That'll surprise him a bit. He's going to regret what, what? He wants to take back because he blundered? Okay, always beast. I'm a super friendly guy. I'll give you that take back. He should change his name to, like, sometimes beast. Because um, <coughs> he's not always. Definitely not always beast. So one option. Check, and then check, and then check. Okay, that's kind of drawish. I could also walk up like this. Which I'm, I'm interested in doing that. He says thanks, but it's, it's covered up. See that way down there, the little thanks down there? Underneath HTTP colon slash slash. By the way, if you go to that website, you're going to notice, pretty dumb website, but you'll also see um, the episodes that are coming up next. If you click calendar, that's pretty cool. You can see the variant we're playing next, which is an awesome variant. So you should go take a look at that right now. Yeah. Let's see now. This got spicy right now. That's seriously spicy. The best play is actually this way. Oh, 
the best play is cheating. Gee <laughs> whiz, strikes again. Uh, the best move is to make an illegal move. Let's check him. You're right. I'll type you're right. I'm the kind of guy who types on computers, so I'll do that. Can't defend this pawn. It's probably going to be next. Hmm. Oh, this is bad. No, this is good. No, this is bad. I can't defend. What's wrong now? Why does he want to take back now? That was legal. That was legal. So what's coming up next? Well, we're going to play Pandemic Season 2. You don't know what that is, so forget about that. I'm also going to play Food Chain Magnate for the first time, which is a board game where if you don't play super smart, you die. You're like, it's like this... It, I, first, I thought it was like this magnetic chain that's moving over food, but it turns out it's magnate, not magnet. So you're supposed to actually be like being a big business guy with food. So that wasn't quite accurate. I'll check him again. This is a perfectly timed check. This is the best way to play. Don't take the free pawn. That would be a mistake. Instead, win. It's going to be good. I bumped the quality down. Ooh, cack so that you wouldn't be too stressed out by having a super high quality image. That, that, that would be stressful for you. Or even medium quality. What I try to do is like one pixel for me and one pixel for the chessboard seems like enough. Okay. I think he's gonna have a hard time with this pawn promoting into a queen. I should make a rook just to throw him off. But I think I'll have a hard time. I'm having a hard time with my bandwidth right now. But I think I'm going to win this. Oh, he cheated. Propose a take back. That was cheat. You cannot capture F3. Let's go back. Because of the rules, the special rules, you cannot capture anything using a piece that is on the third or sixth rank. And that was on the third rank right there. That's actually going to be super problematic for him at the end of this endgame. <laughs> which is the best part of an endgame. Because that means you can actually get back to real life and make some waffles, which you can't do during a chess game. It's very stressful. Okay. Yeah. Look at this problem. Okay, so I push. Look at where his pieces are. <laughs> LOL! Exclamation mark! I'll send an upside down exclamation mark in front of that. So it's like... Spanish lol. You can't see it because it's cut off. But what if I press this? Yeah, see that? Lol. Yeah, that's me laughing in Spanish. Nope, you can't do that. Because both of his pieces are on the third or sixth ranks. And so they are both immunized. Nope, that's not right. Neutered. Neutralized. There we go. They're both neutralized. And I removed their genitals as a side benefit. Um, <clears throat> so I'm feeling pretty safe right now. Yeah. Yeah. Did I mention this? <laughs> Did I mention that this show is R-rated? You just got owned by the variant rules because your rook is a sitting duck. GG, always beast. He says, sorry, I stupid. You can barely see that, but I'm actually very thankful that he's stupid. I think we have time for one last game, and we have one last, last challenger as well. One lice challenger. Hopefully the lice are not contagious. Let's see. You may not capture anything using a piece that is on the third or sixth rank. Okay, his username is Slight Loki. Which, at first I thought he's just like a really thin Loki. Like, he's very slight. Could be true. Like, he's not very muscular. He's a very slight Loki. But I'm thinking, actually, that it's a command. He wants me to slight Loki. Which would mean, like, offer him something and then don't give it to him? That sounds awesome. I'm gonna slight Loki. Uh, I, I can take that. His knight. He says, okay. Nope, nope. Cheating on move four. Brilliant. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can't cheat on move four. It's a special rule. No cap. That's them's the bis biscuits. See if I can spell biscuits. B-I-S-C-U-I-T-S. Them's the biscuits. That's what I meant to type. It's behind there. Okay. So far, he's made a bad move. And an okay move. And a moderate move, I think. Oh, rule. Yeah, that's what I say. I wake up in the morning, I hit my head, and I'm like, oh, rule! Then I make waffles. So, 
This pawn is always hard to defend, but I think that's only in Queen's Pawns games. Did you guys notice all the pain that we've had? If he does this and I have a problem, I might have a problem. I might actually have a problem because it's so hard to defend because he can't defend this way. And even this doesn't protect it. He can still go there. I'm, I'm, I'm immobilized. I'm, 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 I'm neutered. So <clears throat> maybe I should watch. Oh, my queen. No, his bishop. Hold on. Doing some analysis. Also known as analysis. Anal analysis. It uh, actually spelled like that. If I, that doesn't help. I want to play d5, but that doesn't help. Uh, okay, new plan. Hope he doesn't see it. Oh, he's adding me time. Don't add time. Don't add time. It's your only chance. I'm a pretty fast typist. Okay. Bishop takes f2 with kibitz. That's an interesting idea. If I do that, his king will capture me. And then I can lament my bishop. Maybe I'll have some kind of funeral for it. Pawns aren't pieces, chess whiz. <laughs> well, that's actually very interesting. Pawns, in the rule it says you may not capture anything using a piece that is on the third or sixth rank. And I should have said piece or pawn, because it does affect pawns. So my apologies for not specifying that. And now look, look how it's affecting my pawn. It's very affected right now. So that's cool. Hmm. Oh, it's hard to defend in this variant. Attacks are stronger. What if he moves his queen here? Am I just going to lose? Oh, no. My only chance. What's my only chance here? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm getting owned. Let's see. Let's see. I don't want to become a slave. So I'll move here. Was that my only chance? Don't tell him, but my plan is this. Okay. I can't capture anything from here, so I'm supremely problematized. I mean, if he takes this, for example, I can't capture. I could go here. I'm just really hoping he takes my queen. Oh no, that actually he could checkmate me. <laughs> he could he could play here. Now he can't. <laughs> this would have been brilliant. My queen can't capture. Oh, he's 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 reducing. Let's see what he's done. He's lost some weight here. Uh, there's six pawns for him, six for me. He's trying to promote something. It's an interesting strat. I've got three minor pieces. He's got a rook and one minor piece. Let's block that with the king, I guess. I shouldn't have to move my king, but I guess I kind of want to. Wow, interesting reduction. Definitely appreciate his reduction in complexity there. He could have destroyed me, I think. Queen takes h7 right when my queen couldn't capture anything. So I should have played queen here, but then huja huja, he'd move his pawn there, which then it couldn't capture. Never mind. Uh-oh. Oh, man, this guy's just going to promote. Okay, stay alive. Get all the things out here. Uh, weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't take that, so he's starting to get the hang of this. I'll go here. Hmm. He has a draw, I guess. If I check again, I can't capture it. Hold on, let's let's look at this chess. Let's let's stop the weird. Oh, huh. never mind. We don't have to think about the chess anymore, guys. We're okay. Should I advance that? Not really. Yeah, I should. I cannot capture it though. I am quite limited here. I think I should move the knight out of the way and play c5. It would really bolster my pawns. Yeah, I love that word, bolster. I'll just show off the fact that he can't take me. And now, I guess I'll add him some time out of guilt. That's the way humans work. <laughs> Let's do it this way. 
since it's allowed. Yeah, I think I pretty much got a win here. I have six pawns. He has barely six, like almost not six. This is weird. This is weird, though. Because nothing can capture. Like, I was going to defend this way. Can't capture. The knight can't do anything from this rank. I need to get this stuff mobilized. Uh, let's move the rook off of the useless area. And now I can defend my own pawn. Rooks love defending pawns. If you're ever wondering how to play an endgame, defend pawns with rooks. That's where it's at. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do it, except for right now. Okay, that's defended. Untangling for a bit here. So brilliant move. If I moved here, he could capture this. Uh, and nothing could capture back. So that would be embarrassing for me. <clears throat> Let's just build a happy structure. And then get the knight out. Uh, sure, I'll take that for free. Sure, if you insist. The knight will come around here. He proposes a take back. Oh, because it's cheating. Good reason. I love the way this guy thinks. Like, cheating moves, you undo them. That's a good life rule. Good, good, good. <clears throat> okay, that's allowed. Fantastic. After my knight becomes activated, I will be winning by a knight. It's going to take me a while, but it, it is going to happen. At which point, I will just win easily. So good. So good. It's a real chin stroker. I guess I should have shaved before getting on the camera. Now. Yeah. I'll do the night here, and I'll do that. And I'll take and do this, and then I'll do that, and I'll reach forward into the future with that move, and then I'll win. Good. He can't even defend it. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. It's a good game. It's a good game. Next episode <coughs> is going to be more of this, so I hope you like it. Uh, we've kind of stagnated. We've kind of stagnated. I'm a chess player, so I stagnate. <coughs> it's like when your dinosaur uh, checkmates the other dinosaurs. It's called stagnating. <coughs> we've kind of stagnated the channel. It's growing very, very slowly. On YouTube. GG. Like 10 viewers a month, which is about zero. So that's too bad. But eh, you're watching. That's something. So I appreciate that. I really do appreciate you watching. And that's all I have to say. This has been Chesma's TV. Thanks for watching.